loft living, roommates, mixing business and house. It can work, but I just think you have to be clear on how long it's going to work. I needed everything on my side to say that, yes, I can do this because I hadn't done it before. And that's when I realized this matters. Don't come out in your underwear. Loft living, it was, it was fantastic until it wasn't. It wasn't when I was exhausted with the business. And eventually I closed that business because I was burned out. The only way I could quit that business is I physically had to disconnect the phone. We had telephones because I kept answering the phone. Someone would need something and I would be like, yeah. So I physically disconnected the phone. I put all of my stuff in boxes and I was ready to move to Colorado. Three or four days before I was ready to move out of the building, I get a knock at the door and it's a city inspector. And he goes, you got a business license? No, why? 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 I live here. Is that, and he points to the sign in the stairwell. He says, this is Mold Making and Design Incorporated. Is that not your business? I didn't know to lie. And I was just like, it is, but I'm moving. And he saw all the boxes and he then this won't really matter to you. And then he gave me a violation. And I was like, oh man, I'm out three days just in time. And from there, I moved into a mansion. I tried to move to Colorado, swung and miss, and ended up in a mansion. That's the next three years of my most creative period in my life. So tell me, Michael, getting back to your story right here, is it a good idea to live with your friends in your 20s when you're building your career, your business? I think it was the only way for me to do it. I couldn't afford the loft otherwise. And I think that we were all aligned in our intentions. What was not seen in the 20s is how survival was so difficult and that it was in a sense of business-wise that we all were going to take whatever work we could get. And that came with different conditions. If in my 20s I had lined with a lawyer and a car mechanic, that's who they're going to be in their career. And I get it. I would understand that rhythm. Chris was painting houses. Who knew when he was coming home? When it was dark and he rode his bike to work. I used to take him to take him to a job site with all the paints and I'd drop him and his bike off. We were close. Those were great friendships. They didn't end well because I got bitchy. Would you recommend disturbing your career path with having your friends living together? I think it's great if your if your career is able to explain the environment that a person is about to come into. And I did often. I said we have a live work loft. I think it's a great way. I think that if you're choosing your friends based on who can pay the rent only, not as uh, any common interests that you have. But Chris Kirschling and I were great friends. I mean, we were great friends. We would work all day and then talk business all night. We were two entrepreneurs trying to get it done, sharing the crap story of the day as a badge of honor. It was wonderful until he just needed to live there and not work there. He wasn't even doing his own artwork. So you would recommend choosing your people by the interest? Two entrepreneurs is good at one house. Entrepreneur and a painter whose art you don't appreciate. Well, for me, that was the right thing because we were the same age. We had similar interests. We both really wanted to make it work for someone else. If you have real big privacy issues, roommates are not the way to go anyways, especially in a loft. We had a lot of people building lofts in art school, and they always made privacy mistakes in the way they built out the rooms. They didn't design it because nobody expected this. And even when Chicago got built out, when all the businesses moved out and they started converting the warehouses about 25, 30 years ago, there were lawsuits because what was happening is Sarah Jones lived upstairs and she used to wear heels and there was no soundproofing between. So it was clock, 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 clock. Oh, and by the way, Sarah left her dog at home all day. And so now the dog pee is coming through the wood floors. Loft living is different. That's why I own this whole building because I cannot have loft living and not be in charge of it. There's very distinct things to do. Having roommates is a whole nother alignment. Guys having roommates versus girls having roommates. Who is always going to be partying? None of us partied. We had one. That was enough. So that sort of stuff matters. Like if I had that stripper roommate, it'd be chaos. We were not cosmically aligned in any way. Entrepreneurially, interest-wise, I mean, it was terrible. So yes, if you're aligned. But even to this day, I I do mourn the loss of the friendship with Chris Kirschling. He was a dear friend of mine. I did something terrible, probably. I remember we had an argument and I was just like, this can't be only your home and you can't expect me to. I've blocked some of that, but we would have had a lifelong friendship, I think. He ended up moving back home to Milwaukee and taking over the stained glass business that his family had, which he swore he would never do. So apparently he had some things as well. So I said, go for it, go for it, go for it, but buckle up. Loft living, roommates, mixing business and house. It can work, but I just think you have to be clear on how long it's going to work.